going on guys <clears throat> so today we're going to be talking about instagram everybody wants to get all this big following on instagram and i'm going to give you like a quick guide of what you can do to get your instagram to get bigger and more popular step number one posting got to get your posts out there two posts a day one at 8 a.m., one at 5 p.m. Why do I say 8 a.m. and 5 p.m.? People always ask me this. I tell them, what do you do with your Instagram? What do you do with your phone? What do you do with your social media? Do you go on it first thing in the morning? Do you go on it later in the day? Do you go on it later in the night? Most people give me the response, well, I go on it first thing in the morning. Well, if you post at 8 o'clock, most people are at their job. Most people are ready to look at their Instagram or their social media. And number three, people are bored, so they're looking at social media. Number two step. What number two step is going to be? It's going to be basically this. You already have your two posts out there, or you ready to post them. Number two step will be hashtags. You need to have hashtags with every post you put on Instagram if you want to succeed. 20 to 30 hashtags, possibly the most popular ones. Any over 1 million. So if you find a hashtag like... Clouds, you'll notice clouds has over 1 million hashtag searches. Use hashtags that have over 1 million searches. Those are going to be the hashtags that everybody looks for, and those are the hashtags that are going to be popular to you. So that is step number two in your Instagram post per post. So you're doing two posts, guess what? You're doing 20 to 30 hashtags per post. That means 40 to 60 hashtags per day. Step number three. Now, step number three is very critical because you need to do this. If you tag your picture, what I mean by tagging your picture, when you're done doing your description of the picture, there's a tag option. Tag anybody that you think will like this picture. Do not tag your friends. What I mean by that is, you don't want just your friends getting tagged. You want people getting tagged that are responsible for what you're posting. So say for instance, you're posting a Pepsi product. What you would do is you would tag Pepsi. You would tag anything that's associated with Pepsi. So you would tag soda, soda freaks, uh, whatever you may find. Uh, but do not tag your closest friends. Your closest friends are already following it. Most likely they're going to like your picture regardless. So you're losing a tag by tagging a friend. Tag somebody that's very important. Somebody that will be reached by your post. This is how you gain more subscribers, more followers, more likes, and so on and so forth. Whether you have a YouTube channel, whether you have an Instagram, or whether you have a Facebook, that's how you reach them. That's, there's two more ways to get your followers. And what I mean, there's two more ways. There's two other ways you could gain your followers. It is simple. It is easy, but it takes a lot of effort. Number one step that takes effort. Number one step that takes a lot of effort to gain your followers on Instagram is by going to whatever tags you are tagging, your hashtags, whatever hashtags you are putting in your posts, going to those hashtags and actually Going through that page, so whatever, say you used hashtag Pepsi, so you go to hashtag Pepsi and you'll like every single picture or whatever pictures you feel are sufficient and pretty enough 
for you to actually enjoy. You go through those, you like as many as you can, like step number two. Step number two is basically going through the people that follow you, following them as well. And not only that, but go through all the hashtags that you just put in, or some of them, the most popular ones, follow as many people as you can, and then a couple days later, if they don't follow you back, unfollow them. You more likes and more views. And now what I mean by that is more people will be attracted to your Instagram page. And not will they only just like your pictures, but you will get more substantial pictures of repost. More people will see it. Now there's one other option that you could do, and this is like hitting the lottery. Hitting the lottery on Instagram. What I mean by hitting the lottery on Instagram is basically what I'm saying hitting the lottery on Instagram. It is very difficult for you to get a picture and get a significant amount of followers from one picture, like a thousand, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, whatever the case might be. There is a chance, but your picture has to stand out extremely from anything else. How to make your picture stand out. How do you make your picture stand out? You make your picture stand out by taking a really nice picture, a really complex picture, or something very simple, but making it completely different. And what I mean by that, making it your picture. A lot of people will try to take similar pictures of other people, which is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you make your picture that will make you famous, you could possibly hit this gallery. How do you achieve that? That's what you're asking. Photoshop. Now, right now you're thinking like, this guy uses Photoshop in his pictures. No, that's not what I mean. But if you look at any great photographer, any great filmmaker, they always use editors to edit their pictures, to make their pictures look great, to make them out stand out from anybody else's. And, you know what? If you gotta use an editor to edit your pictures, or even a Photoshop a picture, you can. Just don't overdo it. Do not over edit your pictures. What I mean by that is, sometimes people go into editing and they edit it so much that it doesn't even look like a picture anymore. It looks like something from whatever and if that's your style that's your style but that style might not get you that lottery a lottery will be won by you putting something out there that is completely rare that is unseen that only people imagine of that's how you could hit the lottery this is your answer i do not use a fancy camera you don't have to use a fancy camera to get a tight picture. Did you know that 95% of people on Instagram use their cell phones to post pictures? That's right. 95% of people that use Instagram use their cell phones to post pictures. Why? Because we always have our phones on us. Not only that, it is a cheap way of taking a picture and these cameras and these phones now are absolutely fabulous. It's a matter of having a steady hand, a good eye, and a good editing app to edit your pictures to where they need to be. Now, go take pictures and get some followers. Get some followers. Guys, it is not that hard. As long as you put the effort into it, you post those two pictures a day, you use your hashtags, you use your tags, and once in a while, you just go through your Instagram feed, you like whoever you like, you go through the hashtags you like, you find the pictures you like, you double tap them. I guarantee you, you will have some success on Instagram. Your Instagram will go from here to here. Don't be afraid to use your face on Instagram. You may not be as good looking as you think you are, but there are people out there that will be truly liking your photos for what they are. Create your own unique design and stick with it. I guarantee you, you will have some success. So, 
keep those cameras rolling, keep them shooting, and until next time, I'm out of here, guys.